Hey guys, and welcome to Pathfinder Kingmaker for the second time. I'm going to try to actually finish the game this time. I don't really remember too much about the game because it was several years ago and, you know, I didn't finish it, so it didn't really stick in my mind that much. Uh, Steam says I played about 22 hours of it, which is actually more than I thought I played, so whew, we'll see how, how much I remember, how much I don't remember, and how differently my experience can go this time. I do know why I stopped playing the game last time, because I didn't like the, the timed element to it. I like to do things on my own time schedule. I don't like being told when to do things and how to do things and oh, oh my god, a new event, drop what you're doing and go to this event. Like, I, that's just not my personality. I don't like that at all. So I do have access to mods now where if I do start to get overwhelmed or anxious about the times uh, and the timers, I can just pause them while I go do my own thing and then keep them going when I'm ready to continue. So. Having that mod there, I'm a little more relaxed going into this, knowing that it shouldn't be that big of an issue. So, we're going to do a new game. We are going to do the main story. Explore the stolen lands, a wild territory that has been contested for centuries. Hundreds of kingdoms have risen and fallen in these lands, and now it is time for you to make your mark by building your own kingdom. To succeed in this, you'll need to survive the harsh wilderness and the menace of rival nations, as well as perils from within your own court. Now, as a... I don't remember a lot from this game. I remember some characters. Okay, so we do have a healer. I was going to play a healer because I couldn't remember if we have one or not, but it looks like we do have one there. I don't know. I remember some things. I don't remember other things, so we'll see. Um, we are massively changing the settings, so let's go through this. Could all the hits weak? I mean, wouldn't normal just be normal? Hey, <laughs> I said normal. Uh, death store. With this option enabled, your character in comparison will not die after suffering deadly injury and will instead receive it. So if they suffer a deadly injury while under conditions, then they will die if you make it to die. Um, isn't there something here to stop? Uh, yes, there we go. That. So this should turn off dying. Will ever die from any damage or effect. They will only become conscious and rise after combat is over. Yep. Cool, cool. I don't know if I need to leave that on or what. I don't know how that affects that. But, uh, yep, they're just never going to die. I don't want to have to even worry about that. Remove negative effects on rest. Blindness, ability damage, and numerous other negative effects. I mean, uh, you know what? I don't even want to bother with that, so absolutely put that on. No, I'll level up myself. Stat dress is somewhat easy. I mean, I'm here for fun, not to, to you know, struggle. Damage to party. I mean, I sort of feel like it should be on one, but we'll take it. I mean, difficulty, normally it's fine. Party speed depends on the character. Nope, absolutely not. Enable character retrain. Yes, there's a certain NPC in the game to retrain characters. Winners. Change the option and we'll change the game's difficulty. I mean, at the end of the day, I have a mod that can do that, so whatever. Kingdom management. Easy. Or well, effortless. Oof. I'm just going to put it on easy, but I reserve the right to put it onto effortless should I start to struggle majorly because I'm not really fussed on the kingdom management uh, side of things. I kind of just want to play the story side of things. I know the kingdom management is like the whole point of the game. It's Kingmaker. It's about having a kingdom, but um, it's not really my thing in this kind of game. So yeah, we'll leave it on easy. We'll put it on effortless later if I need to. Uh, no, no, absolutely not. Immersive mode. Oh, no, I like it. Hints, hints good. Sure, sure, good. Uh, yeah, okay. I think that's it. I'm, I mean, I had it on week. We can change it if we suffer too many critical hits, let's face it. I'm not here to have a challenge, I'm here to have fun. So let us go in with that and hopefully we can survive. Hopefully, hopefully. Hedwig, Malaku, Filene, she looks like a Skyrim elf. Kimar, Yadmila, but like prettier than a Skyrim elf because Skyrim elves are hideous. Um, as I said, I kind of thought I was going to play a cleric, but now I don't know. Maybe a paladin? But I don't know. See, the problem is, I don't know how paladins work in 1E. I know how paladins work in 
fight a fifth edition D&D. I know how champions work in Pathfinder 2e. I don't know how paladins work in Pathfinder 1e, which is the problem here. I don't know. Um, I wonder what portrait I had last time for my character. Oh, I had that. Yes, that looks familiar. I definitely had that one. Well, we're not going to go with that one because I'm not going to go same, same. <sighs> Problem is, are these characters? Because are these characters in the game? Because I don't want to assume portrait of somebody. No, they look pretty original. Um, mm, well, these options are shite. <laughs> Maybe I should get a mod and change it. Maybe there's a reason I chose the generic looking chick. It's because all of these are terrible. But it's not really what my what my character to look like. I don't want my character to look like that either. Oh god. Um, I'm just gonna pick her for now, but I may use the mod to change that because I don't want to have to look at that permanently. But for now, let's just stick it on. <sighs> I don't know. Do you get extra healing from being an Asimar in Wani? I know you do in 2e. Your halo uh, does additional healing. Asimars possess the ability to manifest halos. They can create a light centered on their head at will. While using a halo, they gain a plus two seconds of bonus and seven threes against. Yeah, see, it's not right. I mean, that's nice. That's very nice. Hmm. Hmm. I think I will play an Asimar. Do you have any. Do these have stats accompanying them? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, so Asimar just doesn't. You just... Is that like a human? Human... Wait, you get a plus two. But the Asimar... Don't? You get no benefits? Is that because of the Celestial Resistance? What? And the Tiefling doesn't because you've got Fiendish Resistance. Let's just double check your theory. Oh my god, you get so many things as an orc, plus a bit. What is this? Maybe I will play a basic bitch human then. At least then you get the ability choice. And a feat. Hmm. That's interesting. Um. Yeah. Huh. We've reserved the right to go back if needed. Uh, body type. Uh, sure, a really, really skinny chick. Um, skin tone, how about whitest white you've ever done seen? You don't have the whitest of white. Okay, well, generic color it is. Does this change by race? I see. Hmm. Maybe I will just live up my elvish dreams. Keen senses. Racial bonus and perception checks. How's immune to medic sleep effects? Yeah, that's pretty usual. And that's um, taken from D&D. A lot of money is taken from D&D, obviously. Half elves receive skill focus as a better. What the hell's skill focus? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be very confused with all of these systems because I'm very unfamiliar with Wani. Even though I played Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, um, the str struggle was real. Uh, what's the difference between a half elf and an elf? You don't get any abilities, but you get elven magic. Racial medicine, spell, adjacent to physical resistance. Yeah. And elven immunities. Oh, it's the same in the map. Nah. What, your, your, your ears are slightly pointier? whoop de doo <laughs> I think I'll take the half-elf, you know? Uh, anyway, do you get lighter skin? I think you have almost... Uh, yeah. mm. Okay, I'm just gonna do that, I think. Uh, I can't even see your face, so it's just gonna have to be estimations. And it's really hard to tell because your hair is kind of in the way of your face. I can't tell. I can't, I can't, you're too far away. I feel like I need glasses to see you. Hmm. Not really much variety, are they? 
Okay, hairstyle. Uh, do you have white as an option? Wait, if they don't even have blonde as an option. That is weird. That blonde is not an option. I mean, I wanted to go white skin, white hair, but I can't really go white skin. Like, I want to go like porcelain pale. It's not really happening for me right now. Not much is happening for me right now, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, that's pretty. However, I plan on using a mod for a character that gives her the same hairstyle, so that could be a conflict of interests. It'd be absolutely hilarious, though. I could be generic and give her that. Ugh. I don't remember what my original character looked like, I'll be honest with you. Obviously, she had hair, because I would have tried to match it to the portrait, I think, but... I generally don't remember what she looked like. Ah, uh, certainly not like that. Maybe she did have this, because it is the most engaging of all the hairstyles. Yeah, that all that. Nah. I really like this. I don't care if she ends up looking like my modded character. Love what you're wearing there, dear. Um, yeah, okay. Um, you know what? For argument's sake, her main hand's gonna be her left hand. Let's be different. Let's be different. Okay, no idea what we're doing. Next. <laughs> Make shit up as we go. That's the plan. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. You've got these thingies. Oh, I'm going to be trying to time for. See, I was going to just go basic bitch cleric, but I could go paladin. Because I just thought I could do the heels. Doesn't have the following features atheism. Well, ain't that a bitch? Huh. Huh. Or a divine paladin? Fine. Hunter, hos hospitaler. Hmm. Divine guardian. I don't know. No, let's just be a basic cleric. Let's be boring. You know, let's just be boring. I don't normally play healers. I usually go for anything but a healer, but let's go. Oh, I gotta remember how all this stuff works. Why can't they just convert this to Tui? <laughs> Life would be so much simpler. Okay, so we're not very reflexy, but we're 40 and willful, apparently. Uh, so a cleric. Uh, whether to increase their own or their allies' prowess in battle, to vex their foes with divine magic, or to lend healing to companions in need. Yeah, I'm mostly going to be doing that, but I guess I can use uh, attack spells as well. Um, Crusader. Oh, so my costume is the same no matter what I pick. Okay, Crusader is a militant arm. Uh, this is Herald Caller. On the Crusaders of Paladins who charge headlong into battle in the name of their patron deities, Herald Callers are adept at calling powerful outsiders to aid their brethren in battle. Oh, so they're summoners. Ecclesiather, Ecl not even going to try it. Assuring physical armor for protection via the strength of his faith. Good luck with that. Uh, focuses on miracles as deity bestows in the breadth of that deity's... Yeah, let's just be basic. Let's just be the most boring half-elf you ever did see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't think this far ahead. I'm quite partial to... Desert and Saren Ray, to be honest with you. Uh, so all the goods and neutral. It's okay. I mean, I usually play a good character. No one, no one to her faithful as the dawn. Yeah, sorry, hit my mouse. The dawn flower, the healing light, and the everlight. Saren Ray is a goddess who teaches temperance and patience in all things. Compassion and peace are her greatest virtues. And if enemies of the faith can be redeemed, they should be. Worship this goddess of healing, honesty, redemption, and the sun began far to the east of the Inner Sea, in the vast Parishar Empire of Kalesh. But her worshippers can now be found throughout the world. Domains, fire, glory, good, healing, sun, favorite weapon, scimitar. Yeah, so she has healing as a domain, which is fantastic. And if I want to do some damage, I can always look to either fire or sun, probably fire more likely, uh, to gain some damage abilities. Or at least that's how it works in two weeks. I don't know if that works here, money, but the options are there. We are going to channel positive energy, most certainly. And I get to pick two domain, two domains. Oh my, really? Well, healing domain, obviously. Um, oh, how do I actually read this? 
Uh, your touch saves off pain and death. Go team. Rebuke death. You can touch a living creature as a standard act. Oh, standard actions. Sure. Healing it for 1d4 points of damage plus 1 for every 2 levels you possess in the class that gave you this access to... Oh god, it's so wordy. You can only use this ability on a creature that is below... So oh, so you can only use Rebuke Death when they're dying. Got it. You can use this ability a number of times per day equal to 3 plus your wisdom. If I, right, right, cleric would need to have wisdom. Got it. Oh, so it's like heal from 2e. Heal is 3 plus your uh, charisma modifier. So, okay, just less useful than heal. Heal is blessing at 6th level. All of your cure... Oh, wait, you said that was touch, didn't you? Eesh. At 6th level... That's a while away. All of your cure spells are treated as if they were empowered, increasing the amount of damage healed by... Oh my god, by half? Holy shit. This does not apply to damage dealt to undead with a cure spell. This does not stack with the empower spell metamagic... Oh, metamagic. Ugh. Metamagic is so much simpler in 2e. Domain spells, remove, oh, that's right, that's a thing. Just sleep, guys, that should remove that. Now that I've got it turned on. <laughs> anyway, remove sickness, restoration, lesser, curious, ser cure, serious wounds. Wait, what do you mean restoration and then lesser? Oh, lots of restoration, I see. Cure serious wounds. Oh, that's right, that's what they called it, money. Neutralize poison, breath of life, heal, create a restoration, protection from spells, mass heal. That's domain spells, that's not bad. And then if I go for sun, you see truth in the pure and burning light of the sun and can call upon its blessing or wrath to work great deeds. Uh, most definitely wrath. Sun's blessing. Whenever you challenge positive energy to harm and... Yeah, I don't do that. Nimbus of Light. At 8th level, heh, you can emit <clears throat> 34 Nimbus of Light for a number of rounds per day equal to your level in the class. Okay, yeah, yeah. Any hostile creatures in this radius must succeed at a fortitude save to resist the effects of his aura. If this creature fails, it is blinded until it leaves the area of its... Oh, so it's like, hey, bitch, you want to attack me? Blinded. <laughs> Get away. A creature that has resisted the effect cannot be affected again by its particular aura. And there's an undead within this radius taking an amount of damage equal to your level and the class that gave you access to this domain each round that they remain inside this nimbus. So useful against undead, essentially. These rounds do not need to be consecutive. Okay, neither of those feats, I guess, are particularly interesting to me. So we may definitely go fire, I think. Domain spells, fairy fire, seeing visibility, searing light. Searing light's good. Shield of dawn, flame strike, flame strike's good. Chains of light, don't know what that is. Sunbeam. Sunburst, elemental swarm fire. Okay, let's just have a look at fire. You can call full fire, command creatures of the inferno, and your flesh does not burn. Firebolt, good start. As a standard action, you can unleash a scorching bolt of divine fire from your outstretched hand. Left, not my right, because I've done that. You can target any single foe within 30 feet as a ranged touch. Oh, I don't like that wording. It's a spell attack. Ranged spell attack. With this bolt of fire, if you hit the foe, the fire bolt deals 1d6 points of fire plus oops, damage, plus one point for every two levels. <sighs> yep. You can use this ability. Yep, yep, yep. Three plus wisdom. Fire resistance. At sixth level, you gain resistance fire 10. Increases to 20 at 12th. Holy shit, that's a lot. At 20th level, you gain immunity to fire. Sweet baby Jesus. But the thing is, like, is this a game that has a lot of fire enemies for that to actually come into play sufficiently enough for it to be useful? Domain spells, a burning hands, scorching ray, fireball, control fireball, flame strike, summon huge fire elemental, elemental body, four. Yep, that's four, fire. Summon elder, fire elemental, fiery body. It's a lot of fire, guys. What is glory and good? I don't actually know what these are. You are infused with the glory of the divine and a are a true foe of the undead. In addition, when you challenge challenge positive energy, no, channel positive energy to harm undead, yeah, I don't care about that. Touch of glory, you can cause your hand to shimmer with divine radiance, allowing you to touch a creature as a standard action and give it a bonus equal to your level in the class, blah, 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 blah. On a single charisma-based skill check, a charisma ability, it's <sighs> not very interesting. Aura of heroism, at eighth level, you can emit a 34 aura of heroism for a number of rounds per day equal to your level. Blah, blah, blah. Using this ability as a swift action, handy. Allies in the area are treated as if they were under the effects of the heroism spell. That is useful. Domain spells. To be honest, didn't I just play a fire? Yeah, in the Wrath of the Righteous, I played a fire sorcerer, so I probably shouldn't go for fire domain as much as it falls to my heart. <laughs> So, it touched on like lame. Aura of heroism, pretty useful though. You have to wait until 8th level for it to really come on board. 
Domain spells, shield of faith, I'll never use that in my life. Bless weapon, no, it's a touch spell. Searing light, divine power, burst of glory, inspiring recovery, holy sword, holy aura. I don't know what half that is. Good domain. You've pledged your life and soul. So I can scroll. Uh, you've pledged your life and soul to goodness and purity. Or oh, have I now? Touch of good. You can touch a creature. I hate touching creatures. As a standard action, granting a sacred bonus uh, requires me to be in range of the melees. Uh, oh, wait. Hold, hold on. Is cure... Is, is curing wounds touch or is it distance? Surely it has to be distance. Surely. Mm. Oh, maybe I will be in melee. I don't know. Granting second bonus on attack roll, skill checks, ability checks, and saving throws equal to half your level in the class. That to get up for one round. You can use this ability. Hmm. Hmm. It's really limited. Holy Lance. At eighth level, you can give a weapon. Hmm. You touch the holy special weapon quality for a number of rounds equal to half your level. You can use this ability once per day. Additional time. That's kind of lame. Spells. Protection from evil. Lame. Protection from evil. Communal. Eh. Prayer. Forced. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure lots of the creatures I'll be forcing, are facing are evil, but eh. Forced repentance. Burst of glory. Summer monster. Holy word. Holy word. Eh. So do I want these spells? Hmm. I don't know, it's your heroism is quite limited because it's you can use it for a number of rounds per day equal to your level, which isn't many. So it really only gives them the heroism spell, but then it is it's like mass heroism for one whole round ish, unless you leave it on for a little later. I'm just trying to think of what I'm gonna get more use out of, or is that is quite useful, fire bolt, fire resistance, and fire spells. I'm going to use all three. Whereas that, I'll only use the second one in a handful of those spells. That's just a write-off. And I won't use either of the two abilities. I'll just use some of the spells. So, it is very samey-samey, but fire domain is... I'm going to use it more. So... I will just take it. Yep. Next. Do I have to do anything else here? Abilities. Yeah, I definitely have to change it. It's too reminiscent of the previous time I played. Uh, yeah, wisdom, obviously. Um, let's think about this. I don't remember what other characters there are and what their abilities are. Oh! Don't you need, like, a super charismatic main character? A lot of these games, you need a charismatic main character to do all the talking and negotiations and to run your kingdom and shit. Is that the case here? Ooh. Oh, it's a class skill. Oh, okay. So I don't even need to worry about charisma. Right? Since you feel carried to become proficient in these skills, they represent part of his professional training. You can possibly bonus on all classes you've been raised into if you have more than one class in both classes. Yeah, okay. So if I do that, I don't need to worry about that because that's not influencing that. Not directly. I mean, it might in the, in the background when we do checks, but that actually seems to be alright. Um, what? Racial bonus. So I'm going to leave Charisma. Uh, con... What's the max that you start with in one... Is 18 the start... The max that you typically start with? I don't remember. Uh, we've got any decks. Oh, I see the way they're tying it in. Yeah. We need to protect ourselves, but we also need to buff up our reflex saves. Because they're pretty crappy. Um, I don't care. Take as many deficits into strength as you like. I do not care. Athletics. Pfft, you're just going to fail everything. Grab an edge. Too bad. I don't want you to have some intelligence. I don't want you to be like daft. You know. 
So you've you've got good perception, good law religion, good law nature. You're not doing too poorly at all. Um, is there any point making that 19? I mean, I know I can buff it later. Nah, shouldn't waste it now. Do I want to do any? Hmm. I'll put my persuasion up. Eh, one point's not going to hurt anybody. Um, what do you give me? The number of skill points gained each level. Okay. Not, yeah, I figured that. Um... I'm not using Ephia knowledge, so that's okay. Um, law is wisdom anyway. So can I... No, no, it takes three points to buff you up. Which is just painful. Uh, corner decks, corner decks. Your fortitude's already plus four. Don't know how or why. Oh, class bonus, of course. Okay, well, maybe I'll put it in decks then. Oh, I can't raise you higher than 15? Why? Okay, no point bothering with you then. Oh, it means you'll be the same. Oh, okay. So I have to put something uselessly higher because something will always... <laughs> what is it? Strength carries the maximum amount of weight your character can carry. It's okay, I'm using mods. Creator strength falls to zero. Blah, 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 blah. I have the license strength for breaking down doors and the like damage rolls. I'm using my weapon. I'm okay with you being a frail and feeble lass, you know? I'm okay with this. This doesn't give me the extra points I need. Want. I suppose it's better. Aha! But that gives me the extra dexterity I wanted. That's something. So let's just assess. Strength has only negatively impacted my athletics modifier, which I hope that doesn't kill me. It probably will. Um, although I could probably rectify it if I wanted to. It affects my combat maneuvers, which I don't care about because I don't want to be doing maneuvers in combat. I really shouldn't be doing maneuvers in combat at all. Um, you have a pitiful AC. Oh my god. And th that's only because I put dexterity points in. Oh my god. You are going to die. You need to put some armor on or something. Holy hell. Maybe even carry a shield, except you can't because you've got no strength. Shush. Your armor may limit your dexterity bonus. If you're wearing armor, you might not be able to apply your whole dexterity bonus to your AC. Yeah, I hate that about armor. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, you're going to die. Have fun with that. Uh, I've got two more points to invest. Use magic device. Charisma. I'm hoping at charisma. I get a charisma person on my team. I mean, I'm going to still level up Persuasion, but I'd want someone else to be able to do charisma-based things. Um, am I okay with doing law checks? Um, so I just hope that someone else is there for knowledge. I, have an I need a charismatic person, an intelligent person, and a tricky person. A tricksy person. Athletics. Pah. Um, so good luck to me for that. I don't really think I'm going to get the uh, party I quite want, but it's okay. Let's pretend like we didn't just absolutely destroy the poor character. Okay, choose abilities. I get two. Adaptability and feet. Skill focus athletics. What does the skill focus do? You get a plus three bonus on all checks for athletics. If you attend more ranks in athletics, this bonus will keep... <laughs> ha, you're funny. Law? Persuasion right off the bat. Increase my persuasion. If you have 10 or more ranks in persuasion, this bonus increases to plus 6. Do I want to waste a skill focus on a character that's not charisma based on persuasion or leave it to a character that has persuasion and can use it on like use magic device and stuff? Maybe I should just take it. Yeah, she, she, she can be the talkative one, I guess. Oh, but then I feel... Mm, something like law religion would be good. Oh, fuck it, we're doing it. And what do you want? Point blank. She doesn't have a weapon. What is the point of that? 
yeah, that doesn't count for me. Spell focus. Choose a school of magic. Any spells you cast of that school are more difficult to resist. Benefit. Add plus one to the class for all saving throws against spells from the school of magic you select. Uh, I'd probably take evocation if she's e sun. Did I pick sun in the end? Um, fire? Sorry, fire? Yeah. Weapon finesse? No. So spell focus is the only one I would take of those. What are my other options related to healing specifically? I My perception is so high it does not matter. Teamwork? No. I'm a proficiency? No. Blind fight combat cast. You're adeptic spell casting when threatened or distracted. No. Combat reflexes. <sighs> Just need to feel of ten, of tens. Nope. Die hard. Die hard. Good. Dodge. You get a plus one dodge bonus to your AC, a condition that makes you lose your dex bonus. Yeah. Elemental focus. Your spells of a certain element are more difficult to resist. Choose one energy type, obviously fire. Add a plus one to the focus. Okay, so that would stack with the spell focus. Extra channel! New channel energy. Two additional times per day. Like, ha, what? That's insane. I think I remember giving that to you. Was his name Darren? In Wrath? I don't remember. It's too long ago. Prepped initiative. I will only reflexes. Blah, 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 blah. I already got a thing for that. I don't need any more. Shielded caster. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> I already have light and medium armor. What do you know? Um. Well, I might do extra channel since I want to focus on being a healer. So let's at least be a proficient healer, okay? Choose voice. Oh dear. I'll take care of it. Ah, a test of my abilities. I have no idea what I picked last time. Quick, quick! I'll Our path leads on. Contemplate on your mistakes. Stand with me. <laughs> I mean, she's pious. It's tempting. Strike with all your might. I feel faint. My skills exceed yours. Why is it quiet? No contest. Aim carefully. I failed. A trivial task. Let us be careful. I lead, you follow. Enemy approaching! Enemy approaching! Away, you rascal. Away, you rascal. Hey, have a look. With grace? And poise? What's that glitter? Hesitation is a waste of time. <laughs> Just silent? I don't know, I kind of liked... I feel faint. I kind of like that for this character. Oh, I don't bloody know. Does it matter? Groups of weapons, this character. Oh! I don't understand. For Ast, there you go. No, is there a Saren Ray month? Sarenith, there you go. Uh, seven's a lucky number. Seventh day of the sixth month. There you go. Um, you are going to be. I hadn't actually thought about this. Good in some fashion. Neutral good? Uh, I think, I mean, I want to do lawful good, but that just seems excessive. Let's go neutral good. Oh shit, you need a name. Um, do, have I had a character called Verity already? Probably. Sounds familiar. Maybe I have. Oh well. My Next. Skills exceed yours. I don't know that the voice matches the appearance, but you know, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Is she going to be functional? Absolutely not. I built her. She's going to be terrible. Oh my god, she has 11 HP. She's just going to shrivel up and die. Oh boy. Hi Verity. Try not to die. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Ah, where are they? We have a this shield. Taking forever. It didn't even say what this was for. Just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? You actually don't know? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. 
Just go back to your mountains or whatever whore you crawled out of. The Aldori Swords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just <laughs> shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush, quiet. They're coming. Am I supposed to get my cursor off the screen? Probably. Greetings, everyone. Jamandi. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits holds sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stagman, uh, considers himself the I rightful remember the name. owner of these lands. And no one has yet been able to challenge his power. I don't remember him himself. Bring me his head. Literally. And you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any question? Yes. Do you actually want the head? You would like me to sever it at the neck, above or below the neck? What's your preference there? There's a whole team of us. Who exactly will receive the Baron's title? Why not just recognize this Daglord as Baron? He's a bandit. You're helping us found a barony. What do you gain from such generosity? What rules can we expect exactly as clear as day? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Uh, definitely not swing a sword around, sir, just like you do not. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. One thing I really like about this game, and by extension, Roth, is just the lighting. Look at the way the candles just flicker and their little gl the glow effect, and then the, the... What's the word I'm looking for? Smoke? Steam? Heat <laughs> um, rises from them and then just dissipates. It's just really well done. I mean, the rest leaves much to be desired, but that looks cool. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? I'm noticing you've heard her comment, she winks at you coyly. I vaguely remember you, and I vaguely remember having done a quest for you, but I don't remember your shtick. I don't even remember what you're like in combat. Did I get you in combat? Probably not, because I don't remember you. I mean, I do, but not, not from a combat perspective. There's a whole team of us. Who exactly will receive... Oh, so we just ask all the questions. Okay. I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, Fuck after you, all. Fuck you, Tatruk you. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Bruh. You won't be on my team. Oh, will he? I don't remember how the teams get divided. We haven't yet begun. Harem. You already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title. When we'll most likely lose our lives there. Ooh, don't some of these characters turn on me? I'm just trying to remember. From the characters I can see here, who does what? I don't remember. <clears throat> if I may please. I don't know the big one. The don't question. worry about that. I remember that. Um. Yeah. Okay. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title, 
Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Why not just recognize this stag lord as Baron? That's a good point. Jaythal. As I see it, this Remember you? stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? <laughs> Don't say that to her. Um, did I have you on my party? I remember you. Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> That's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. What rewards can we expect exactly, Jamandi? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own land? Oh, I don't know, the money to run it? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. So I'm just gonna remember my geography. I was like, rest of must be one of the cities in Brevoy. Brevoy. It's one of the two largest cities. Okay, in southern Brevoy. He leads the city, but this is her house. Alrighty, so what's the name of the other main city? He won't tell me. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. <laughs> she just wants a feast. Excellent. And accolades. We venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Okay, so Hi, some people remain. Hi. I'm bored, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? I mean, I would, but I kind of wanted to change my portrait before I continued, but I guess I can go with some dialogue. We sure will, just wait with plenty of great feats in store. I'm very pleased to. Mm. What do you want from me? <laughs> I have no doubt. Kind of related, I wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? He's a douche. I think he's pretty obnoxious. He personally. very much is, dear. He appointed dear. himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. Not crowns. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Uh, I'm not a hero, just a mercenary. And what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches? Or maybe you want glory, too? Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? Uh, just listen. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? <laughs> and then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? It's or a scythe, God's okay. Tartuccio. No way. Not a bad plan. It's settled then. I'll accomplish the feats, and you'll write them down. What about the barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I think her name's Amiri. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but... She kind of scares me just a little. But 
I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. <laughs> Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. See you, Lindsay. Let me just figure out how life works. The first step on the road to glory. Yeah. My quill takes its first sip from the ink pot and scripts, or rather, scribbles, the first lines of the book about the travels, adventures, and victories that lie ahead. The book that will extol both its heroine and me, its author, Lindsay the Note to Self. When I come up with a fancy nickname, add it here. I'm writing this in the banquet hall, where Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori has just finished telling us about the mission that lies before us. Tomorrow at dawn, our team will set off to the Stolen Lands in order to accomplish glorious feats. This is where my book begins, and the gods themselves can't say what will happen next. Leave the hall. We have a long road ahead of us, but we all need to get a good night's sleep. Fortunately, Lady Jamandi has graciously given us a, each a bedroom in her mansion. I have to admit, I am so excited that I won't even be able to close my eyes. Fortunately, I had a chance to talk with a future heroine of my book. I think Verity is just the person I was looking for. Well, I mean, you wanted me to talk to other people, so let's not get too hasty. But, um, let me figure out these molds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I think I've got everything sorted, <laughs> baby. I guess I'll find out. My gosh, getting this portrait to change, like... The solution was really easy, but I didn't know how to get to the solution because the instructions treated it like it was easy. So I, it was very difficult to find the answer on what to do, but once I knew what to do, it's easy. So this is now Verity. This is her portrait. I don't know if we can get a full, yeah, there we go, full length portrait there. I just thought it was pretty. It was part of a pack that said it was a elf human half elf collection and it was really the only white blonde one that I kind of liked so that's what we have it looks a bit zoomed in here but yeah what can you do so that is Verity I have physically removed her mace and her shield because she won't be using any of those how does she even use a shield I'm gonna check penalty minus one yeah honey you don't you can't afford that you can't afford that right oh it gives you hmm I mean, a sip. let's hold on to it and we can put it back on if we need it, all right? But for now, you're going to need wands going forward. So let's just worry about that, shall we? She's still got a scimitar. I don't know why I bother because she's not going to use it ever. Um, encumbrance, I don't deal with encumbrance in games. I'm so over it. So there's no encumbrance whatsoever. Don't even worry about that. Rations are turned off. I don't worry about that. That was going to kill me in some other games. So absolutely freaking hell no. So, yeah, this is Verity. I believe we can continue now. Um, what have we got? Tadukyo. Tomorrow our glorious journey begins. Are you ready? I hope so. I need layabouts on my team. Adventurer. Just simple bandits? We'll deal with them in no time. Wait, where's Amiri gone? I lost Amiri. I lost Amiri. What's Jaman? Do you want me to chat to her? The path is clear. Oops. Get some rest before the road. You have a difficult journey before you. Keston Gures. I'll double the guard for the night just as a proportion. The name's familiar, but I don't remember you per se. Jethal. What game is Jumani playing? I'm not used to feeling like a pawn. And you said Haram was down here? Yeah, 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 yeah. The expedition is surely doomed. Uh, what's the button to highlight everything tab? Cool, cool, cool. Just gonna learn this as I go along. I have the ability to turn on, uh, like, uh, to turn the camera around. I don't think I need it necessarily, so I might not worry about it for now. But if I find in combat that I really need that versatility, um, I will do that. Hey, Casey. Casey. <laughs> Northern architecture is beautiful, but very heavy. In my native land of Kadir, you're from Kadira. Palaces are furnished quite differently. Yes, yes, they are. Lindsay, how may I be of Help! assistance? Help! Oh yeah, that's right. Isn't there a fire? What's going on? The mansion's under attack. We need to help. Some felons broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one. Oh, hey, Lindsay, here's the part where I tell you I'm not a combatant, I'm a healer. 
And also you're not a combatant because you're a bard. So this is going to be interesting. I scream echoes from the hallway. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, Lindsay. Just let me check if I can loot first. You know, hashtag priorities. Hi. This is the part where I remind you that I, uh, I don't have any combat capabilities. Now she's got a cool ass cantrip up her sleeve. Combat happens in real time. Nope. Click on the opponent in order to. Now nah, I'm pretty sure I've got the turn based combat mod on. And if not, I'll click the turn it on and combat start. <sighs> okay. Enemy near. Oh, we do have turn based mode. Okay, so it must be in the. Uh, settings? Maybe, maybe it is a thing now. It used to be a mod, but now it's a thing. I don't remember. Okay, during that turn, the character can take a standard, single standard action, a single move action, a single swift action, and another number of free actions. Okay. Cool. I'll try to get used to that. Five foot step, as long as they don't move. Hold less left shift to use a five foot step. Uh, isn't there a button for that though? You can hold control to ignore enemies and other objects under the cursor to precisely select a position. Ah! Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna forget that. Um, hello? Hello, lo, 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 lo. Thank you very much for bludgeoning me before I turn this shit on. Um, why are you not letting me go downwards? This is a really awkward battle that I can't move my camera. Can we not be on whatever the fuck it is you're doing right now? What have we got? Bless. Yeah, that's not going to help me. Shield of Faith, also not going to help me. <laughs> Burning Hands will help me. And then to heal myself. Yeah. Cool. This is going to go great. Hi, sir. You're a little close for comfort. You rolled a natural one? Don't you know this is life and death? Oh, no. You deal one damage. You dealt one Honey, we've got to win this battle. This is not working for me. Okay, how about we try burning hands? Will we have more success with that? Why didn't we just start with that? Why did that do more damage? You can interact with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, you had five, you had five HP? Fucking what? Cause I dealt one damage here. Oh, it only does one D6 fire damage. You rolled a one. And then my burning's hand, burning hands did a one D4. Oh, I rolled max damage. Isn't that a miracle? And you died. You had five HP? Bruh. Okay. I like your smolder though, your smolder is beautiful. Uh, sure, collect all. Anything else in this? There's absolutely nothing that's room for me to look. Okay. Cool. Alright. Uh, the assassin's are already here. Could, did, could you not have, like, helped me? What's through here then? Oh, a dead person. That's unfortunate. I can't... It doesn't let you go past. That's actually really frustrating. Is it like a free free movement mod? Uh, which way do you want to go? That way? I want to go this way. Maybe I should wait until I get some companions on my team. Hey? They got someone. We have to help. Look, they're running. Get them. What shall I do with this one? We'll finish him later. He won't get away. Well, I hope everybody's going to pitch in. Oh, Lindsay uses a bow and arrow. Well, unfortunately, my burning hands requires me to... <gasps> it's not a cantrip? I can't really save myself, I'm going to be honest with you. So, uh... <laughs> Let's waste time on this. Uh, yeah, it's better off killing you because you're the one she shot already. Two damage. Yep. Beautiful. And now you're going to take a swipe at me. I'm totally not built for swipes. Yet you missed. You're doing some solitary. Why is he not helping? Bruh. Maybe I need a basic bitch attack because can I put 
Hold on. Wait, but I have to strike its minus two to attack. Actually, there's absolutely no point in doing that. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. Damn, I can't believe you're not a cantrip. I literally don't even have it. I don't, do cantrips not exist? Hold up. I have resistance, light, virtue, and guidance. I have no damaging cantrips. Are you serious? What kind of character doesn't have a damaging cantrip? What game am I playing? That's shit. Probably could have just run away and let, you know, Lindsay take care of this. Because she's just going to shoot him. You're just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to Maybe think about to get a bow and arrow. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. Yeah, I don't have any spells left. Cause uh, I'm low level and I don't have any spell levels, and I need to equip a bow and arrow. I think, even though I don't want to play with bow and arrows. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. Is that the banquet hall? Make roll back over here. Where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen land. I just assumed, I'm like, I just assumed I was going to have a damaging cantrip. Because that's what you have in Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Oh, wow. In that case, I've probably screwed up my stats by not giving myself any strength. Because even with a bow. <sighs> Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Toruki is present. Okay, what did you give me? Helped Mandi Eldori. A plus one bonus to armor class. Oh, 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 where do I put it here? Yay! Wait, why did my AC go down? Oh, that's right, because that was with the shield, wasn't it? Okay, and I can't use it because I don't have martial proficiency. My character's but useless. Oh my god. I can't even use a range. Hold on, is it just because it's a long bow? Maybe I just need a short bow and that might be considered a simple weapon. Okay, we'll hold out for a simple, a simple uh, short bow. I hope arrows aren't a thing in this game. Okay, well, that's shit. I didn't realize that that was a thing in 1E and that's really gonna fuck me over. It's okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. What is this, a chain shirt? Does anyone want a chain shirt? Uh, can you wear? Neman, do you want a chain shirt? Two, four, minus two armor check penalty. Jerry's he goes higher. But I mean, you technically shouldn't, but none of us should be the front line. We're all ranged. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go well. I really should have just made a freaking marshal. I should have just made a marshal character. Honestly, what was I thinking? Yeah, 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 already equipped. I'm way ahead of you. Um, I'm not quite sure which way we're supposed to be going, it's more my concern. Loot the bookcase. Why is Lindsay looting? Why, why is... We should move. Why is Verity... How do I select all? What's the button to select all characters? Hmm. That is a very good question. Oh, also, I was going to look at the volume. It sounds really low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd explain it. Backspace. There we go. You had to be somewhere. I would find it. No, he's looting. A solid plan. I mean, a solid plan. Leave this one to me. Ah, uh, okie dokie. Um, flexible, kind of ish, mostly. Companions. Oh, okay. I was ahead of myself, guys. Is that a? Copper ring? 
What does one do with copper ring? Absolutely nothing. It is loot. I just love that we're all ranged characters. Isn't that just great? Everyone. And I can't do anything except say hi and <laughs> smile. Yeah, I'm aware of that. To review all the spells available to the character, if this will be pressing B. Yeah. Of course, I'm at the front of the pack. Lindsay, let us inspire courage. Even though you're one of my only attack, I can't attack. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's awesome, and I'd like you to be a target, please. So I'm not the only target here. Uh, I'm gonna need you to cast this, even though I'm quickly running out of abilities. Quickly running out of things to do, guys. I'm not gonna have anything in a sec, because I assumed I'd have cantrips. That damage. Uh, did you miss? Are you wasting? Mm, you're wasting my spells. I'm not happy about that. can't turn the camera. This is going to bother me. I'm probably going to have to turn the mod on. Why is this circled? I'm so confused. What does it mean that it's... I don't understand what this means at all. But can you please burn this dude without... Hitting either of us. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Um, I'm gonna need you to go over here actually, because I'm gonna hit everybody. Or I can just magic missile you. Didn't take enough damage. Rip. Thank god they're missing me. Can you please Attack. If I say attack, are you gonna attack with your weapon or your fists? Serves you right. Okay. Awesome. Super. You know what, Lindsay? Can I steal your crossbow? Is that a normal weapon? Light crossbow, simple proficiency group. So I should be able to use a simple crossbow. Right? And still be able to cast spells, one assumes. Cause I could really do with that right now. You don't have any range. I used to do magic missiles, a range spell. Goodbye. You're pretty and glowy. You deserved it. Just stand there and look pretty, do you? Is that a cantrip? You have cantrip attacks and I don't. You know what? You know what? I'm pretty sure with a mod, I can give myself a cantrip attack. You know what? I, I don't even care if that makes no sense. It makes more sense to me than giving her a freaking bow. I've just got to figure out how, the freaking how to do it. Because I don't really know how to do it. At least they're missing me. I mean, this is something. Any last wishes? Oof. Whereas you're hitting pretty hard with the bow, though. Hitting pretty hard with the bow. Okay, I have a scroll, but I may as well use possible. your spell to heal me. Why are you pausing? Yes. What are you pausing for? I shall not fail. I don't understand what the pausing is all about. You know, if you can, oh. Healing potions, guys. What a waste. Oops, everybody, please. In case I get attacked. Uh, so you can't use short bows. It has to be a crossbow. Forwards. 
Well, then, uh, when are you proficient with a normal bow, then? It's probably the better question. We're all fucking plebs. This is amazing. Great. You have cantrips. You don't need that, all right? You don't need it. I do. I'm shit, all right? Give it to me. Now, it is dex-based. Thank God. So I at least have a hope in hell of hitting. Oh, man. Okay, and now we can conserve our spells for actual healing. <gasps> Gasp, shock, horror. Um, you can have one of those. I'm not giving it to you guys because I'm not going to have you in my party when we, you know, get things started. So, no point. Uh, and that's the door that goes back that way. We shall proceed. If you guys want to catch up and not let me go on the lead, that'll be super swell. The path is clear. Oh no, is everyone dead? Pathetic. They couldn't even defend themselves, but they thought they could conquer the stolen lands. Indeed. I don't know where we're going, so we're just going to check every room because I need some loot in my life. Ooh, hide armor. I can wear hide armor. Armor check penalty. Did I turn off the armor check penalty? Or did I leave it on? I took off the arcane spell failure chance. I don't remember if I took off the armor check penalty or not. Well, I have now. Look, some rules of games just annoy me. All right. Oh, but my armor was prettier. That's so not what I was wearing. I don't even know what I was wearing now, but oh well. Take the higher AC, you're going to need it, my dear. Okay, do, do, do you want something better now? Ooh, max dex. What's your dex at? Oh, you're at plus three anyway. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Are you wearing leather? That's I'm like, it's the same picture, but actually it's not, it's different. There you go, extra AC for you. And what are you wearing? Oh, can you, can you? <laughs> Magic cast up. Yeah, you're not proficient in any armor. Okay, ooh, you have potions pre-built into you. Don't mind if I do. Be taking that off you. I'll be taking that off you as well. <laughs> Absolutely not. Can I stack these? Negatory. I may as well fully flesh that out. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yep, yep. That's it. No door leading down. We continue. I'll go ahead. What is this? Okay. Sure. I'll take all the things. I can take all the things because I have no encumbrance. I know that some people will be like, you're not really playing the game because you're cheating. It's like, guys, I'm just here to have fun. I'm not here to deal with encumbrance and like all that shit. I mean, finally a frontliner. I can keep you alive. Let's go. I've got my frontliner, guys. I am prepared. Dare to attack me? Yes. Well, I didn't actually. Oh, I don't have her under my control yet. That's fine. Me! Let's get in range. Hold on. Should I cast a buff or some kind on y'all? His spell grants the subject a plus two deflection bonus to AC with an additional plus one to the bonus for every six levels you hear. Okay. Not much interesting. What about you? Rebuke death. Not useful at all in the situation. Okay, no man then. We're just going to move forward. And we're gonna go shooty, 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 shooty. Aim carefully. Perfect. Oh, it's you. Stay up from under my feet or I'll strike you down. I'm just trying to help her, Mary. Blood for Gorum! Ah, she's a Gorum worshiper. Yep, Barbarians. that would explain the aggression. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such okay, heroes. Okay, she's a, he's a Calistria worshiper. Gotcha. Okay, can't take that staircase. You want to take the loot, Amiri? Because, I mean, I'm happy to take it, but, like, I thought you'd get more benefit out of some of the things, like the potions and shit. Hi! Is Amiri here? 
I see no Amiri. I see a lot of people to kill though. This is your last chance. Drop your weapons and we'll spare your lives. So generous, I'm afraid I can't offer you the same courtesy. Hey, you ugly mug, get them. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Um, I have concerns. Just a few. Swell. Super swell. This is gonna go great. Am I supposed to go this way? Doubt it. Oh, I can't use any of the other doors. Yeah, can't get that. Okay, we are meant to go through the rubble, even though we can't. Okay, maybe, we oh, we do. I just wasn't close enough for it to illuminate. We're going the long way, guys. Skill check. Completed. Oh, um, hi. We should prepare. I would just like to shoot Attack. you, please. Enemy near. Bye. You shoot too. This is where I step. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I often have more fun with um, just marshals in these kinds of games because it's just quicker than having to balance your spells Time and shit. My hat's dirty again. Wait, you couldn't use your... That's something that happened to Daeron in Wrath that I never figured out why. People told me that I don't plan. remember. Really? He's still alive? Rip. Please take care of that for me, Serves Lindsay. You right. Thanks, Lindsay. Epic damage coming from the halfling. And through we go. An armory. I'm sure Demandi wouldn't mind if we borrowed some weapons. I have all the weapons I need, Claws, however. Please. Break down the door to the armory and find other weapons. The door didn't need to be broken down. Take all the things. Oh, key. Key to what? Key to the chest? I think it's key to the chest. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries. All things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Gold? Interesting. How much? Stealing from a soul at her own mansion should have our heads. No distractions. You haven't forgot they're trying to kill us. How would she know it was us and not the assassins? Unless someone planned on telling her. The gnome throws a sideways glance at Lindsay. Don't drag me into this. You do what you want, but I'm not taking a single coin. Let's head out. I'm a nice moral girl. <laughs> We're not taking it. I don't have to worry about that game. Anything? Nope. Okay, the path okay. is clear. Path is indeed clear. Oh, familiar faces. Chival. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathal. Jayful. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. That's okay. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. <gasps> Further scares and Shit. explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. I can't have you in my party. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. Okay. So I'm gonna need Octavia in my party for her thievery. That much I've already figured out. Amiri for damage. I'm still tossing up about Valerie as the fourth member. Uh, I was wanting to have Jaythel when I first met her, because I forgot she existed. But undead. I can't heal undead. I would kill you. What do you mean undead? 
Really? Like zombies or skeletons or... How do you heal her? Does she have her own ability to heal herself? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. I love how she's like super amazing and kick ass in her, her picture here, and then she's got this shit little haircut <laughs> in reality. <laughs> Okay, you will encounter many traps in your adventures. Yep, none of us have uh, sticky fingers. Well, Lindsay might actually. When any of your characters approaches a trap, they will automatically make a perception skill check. That would be me. I'm good at that. On success, you will see the trap's location and the game will automatically pause. Traps vary in effect as well as difficulty to detect. Having identified a trap, you can click on it in order for one of the characters to make a trickery skill check or to disable it. Okay. Are any of you actually skilled? At trickery. Okay, Lindsay's got a plus seven, so it'll be Lindsay. No, I don't want Lindsay on my team permanently just for the trickery. How curious. Yeah, come on. We're not going in that direction just yet. No, we can. Okay, Lindsay. The rest of us aren't particularly dexterous. At least it's why we're standing back here while you do it. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Look here. Applause, please. Thank you. Something out there. Applause, please. She's really good at that. I appreciate that you didn't fail a single Jaythel. one of those checks. <laughs> that was very nice of you. Um, what actually is Jaythel? She is a class. Inquisitor. I don't know. do you do and again how do you heal I don't want to accidentally kill you hold on you heal damage instead of taking damage from channeled negative energy if the channeled negative energy targets undead if you are undead then you instead do not take damage from positive energy But does that mean that she'll heal from positive energy or just she doesn't take damage? <sighs> You're too difficult to have my party, dear. I'm gonna kill you. Accidentally, of course. I don't really know which way this is going. Ah, it tells me I'm supposed to get that way. What are you dallying for? I'm telling you, Dumani's cash has to be here somewhere. Well, hurry it up before some stop. Someone's coming. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. <laughs> oh, Lindsay. Uh, it's not a big battle. Don't use your abilities. Why not? You have it. <laughs> Close to death, yet so far. So, it's an unfortunate position you've put me in. Forwards! Bye. What have we got here? Divine favor, calling upon the strength and wisdom of a deity. Cool. You gain a plus one luck bonus on attack and weapon damage rolls for every three here. Okay. Uh, duration one minute. Okay, so essentially combat. One round of combat. Inflict light wounds. You channel negative energy that deals damage. This spell cures such a creature. Okay, so you can cure yourself ish. As long as you're not the main uh, damaged party member. Judgment justice. The judgment spurs the Inquisitor to seek justice, gaining a plus one sacred bonus on all attack rolls. Okay. How long does it last though? This bonus increases by plus one for every five inquisitors. Yeah, but there's no duration. Does she just permanently get that's confusing? 
protection. But for how long? There's no point testing it here and now. Unworthy. Oof. Maybe you should have. You need to five foot step this way, dear. And then shoot him. You deserved it. You need to five foot step this way. And Ray him. Cool, 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 cool. You guys doing great things. Love it. Don't hit the lady who's hard to heal. You hear me? Aim carefully. What they say about a cash? Curious. Find and open a cash in the Sword Lord Jamandi of Dory's mansion. A lot of interesting sounds coming from here. Okay. Do we know what they're supposed to look like? Does this involve multiple rooms? I think this involves multiple rooms. Hold on, let me check this one as well. How do you know what's right though? Do you just fiddle with them until it works? Is there like a the path is clear? Some sort of secret? Really not helpful. Maybe everyone has to get their weapon up. Oh, you son of a bitch. that guy adventures call to that I don't know I don't know okay they're both up our duty calls and then if you hit him they're both gonna go up son of a bitch who does the end ones? Perseverance would get me there. Now, is any of this useful to anybody? Is this like sorted in anything, any in any way, shape, or form? Can we <clears throat> type in ascending order? There we go. <clears throat> what do you wear? You wear medium. Okay, well, I don't have any better medium than what you're wearing, I don't think. Yeah, yours is, yours is sufficiently adequate. They're all cooking items, they're all sellables. Ah, these are sellables as well, okay. None of it's equipable. Never mind. Maybe I should specify equipable accessories. Usable. <laughs> okay. Let us leave. Let's work, team. Doing great. 